Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to refresh a single pivot table with macro. So let's say this is our database and then um, we have created a pivot table that's um, looking at the category by performance rating level and we look at the average merit increase su um, suggestion by performance rating. So let's say if I want to change uh, the merit increase suggestion, say to from 15% to 10%, uh, you know that the uh, pivot table does not auto refresh, you would have to go to the analyze tab, click refresh for this number to refresh. So today I'm going to show you how to do this uh, with macro more easily. So actually the first thing you need to do is to um, create, go to the macro edit table by um, clicking auto F uh, 11. This is how you can get to the, um, the module. And then basically this is the code that we are using here. So just as an explanation, um, we named this pivot table as refresh pivot table. We set the, uh, we define PT as a pivot table and then we set the PT as the pivot table that we refer to. So how do we know which pivot table we are referring to? Um, you see that the name that we refer here is called pivot table one with the, within the double code. So how do we find out the name of the pivot table? So actually to do that, you click on the pivot table, you go to the pivot table to analyze, and then you see on the top left, the pivot table name. So for example, for this pivot table, the name is pivot table one. So you know that when you actually um, define your PT name, you know the name for the pivot table is pivot table one, and then you just name it, um, have an action code of PT refresh table and then end the sub. So let's see how this code works. Um, let's say if we wanna change this to 15, and then we have this code here, you see the pivot table is now showing 10, now refresh, and then now let's run the code, and then the pivot table is refreshed. So um, if you want to do it with a bottle, uh, what you can do is to go to the developer tab. Uh, if you don't know how to get this, you can check my video on um, Macro for Beginners setup. Um, go to insert, uh, format control, and then create a, uh, a button. Okay it, um, and then rename, add it the text, rename it to, let's say, refresh. Um, and then um, exit and then right, uh, right click, go to assign macro, assign the macro that we just uh, wrote, go OK. And then now it's set up. So now let's say if we want to change this to uh, 8% and then let's refresh and then you can see the pivot table is automatically refreshed. Okay, so this is how we can refresh pivot table with macro and uh, I hope you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.